All right, so now before we can add, because remember when we did the design, we actually created these tables. Uh, with We added the foreign keys here, but we actually didn't find them as foreign keys because I said, oh, we're going to add as um, we're going to alter them. All right, so before you can alter anything, you actually have to give primary keys to each table because without primary keys, you cannot really add any foreign key. So we're going to go to the customer here. We're going to right click and select design. So easy. Here, there is this little black arrow here, and we're going to set as primary key. You see now is a key there. You're going to close and say yes. We're going to do that with all of them. Design, set primary key, close and yes. <clears throat> Shipping, design here, set primary key, close and yes. And in the fact table, design, <clears throat> add as set primary key, close this, and yes. All right, refresh everything. Now, <clears throat> all your tables do have a, a primary key. So if you open and look at the keys, you see that, at, that tables do have a primary key. Once you have a primary key, you actually can set foreign keys here to the fact table. So we want to add three foreign key. So the first one here is the customer key. The second one is the product key. And the third one is the fact table. Okay, I'm going to copy this and put in that uh, script. So I'll upload it, that script. I'll, I'll organize in different files. So right now I just put it in one and then I'll upload it everything with the correct names. <clears throat> All right, so now that I have done the foreign keys, let's go refresh. All of the tables had a foreign key. The last thing I need to do is add a diagram. So I'm going to right-click, new database diagram, say yes. I had to add the customer, yes. The product, yes. The shipping, yes. And the fail, uh, fact sales. We're not adding the raw data and we're not adding the stage. They are just... A means of design. You have the fact table here, and then you have your dimensions. As you can see, this is, is a, a static schema. So let's go. When you close it, you must change it, and you're going to have one diagram. So you're going to have the fact cells, and the fact cells will allow you to. Uh, Aggregate a quantity to say how, how much quantity, uh, the profit, how much profit, uh, um, how much sales, and then how much sales for each customer, for a product, and look at shipping. All right, so this will be the final part of the integration process. Okay, so you close here, and then yes, uh, you had to. Changes for yes. And the diagram is going to be cells diagram. So that will be my first. In this case, only one diagram, but you could have added more if you divided the fact, fact table. So that's the end of the integration.